then the shoes will be falling across the front. Um, we're starting to do some refurbishment work on this part of the gym, uh, mainly because this is an addition to the gym, what we're spending the money that we got. Um, we've got a classroom here to one side, which will be used for kids and bus coaching jobs and etc. We're going to plaster, plaster these walls here because the, the what was behind them was very rough and damp. We have the electricians coming in and we're going to redo the whole electric throughout, throughout the gym, all the way through. They've started doing it to work out, taking out the old cables and stuff. And then we're going to have a suspended ceiling in here and a full air conditioning system. And if you want to just have a look around, this will be the classroom. There'll be two rings in here and the fire escape up at the far end. And if you want to take a walk through into the next part, I will uh, run you through that in all. Right. Right. That's the door now, kid. In this part now, we're going to have the same toilet in the corner. We're going to dry line all the walls within the waste area. Play the ceiling and air conditioning as well. we move on to the next one. What we've done here, we've made a little window there on the entrance. Pass the board to a high level and we're going to have suspended ceiling, new lighting air conditioning and heating and there will be a reception area going here and there's a little corner in the in the back here and that's where all our controls will be in that small building office. Two rings here will be taken from here, dismantled and moved and put up into the new section of the gym. And then we'll close this place off for the time being as storage as we haven't got a fire escape and it's too costly to put a fire escape in through here and to the outside. So our only other alternative is to close this room off and move up there until we get some kind of funding or raise some money to, to do it. And then as we, as we go down into the next room, it'll also be a suspended ceiling, new lighting, air conditioning. And that is part of what we will do here. As you come along the next visit, you'll see big changes in it.
Hello, my name is Andrew France. I work for HKC Construction. I'm the primary director. What we're doing here is a refurb at Small Heath Boxing Club, uh, aka the Pat Benson Boxing Academy. Um, we've been here primarily now for three weeks. Um, the refurb is to include plastering of most of the walls in the building, um, insulating uh, the said walls. We've uh, constructed a classroom, um, disabled toilet, there will be air conditioning and heating uh, also within the contract and also a full ceiling hoping to um, reduce costs, reduce our green footprint of the club. Okay, when is this going to be finished? Sorry? When is this job going to finish? I mean, uh, The job is well progressed now. Uh, we're almost at the final stages, cleaning up. Um, we're behind on the full ceiling and that in turn is knocking the electricians finishing slightly behind. We anticipate that the completion of the works will be within the next two weeks. Okay, Andrew, thanks. okay then thank you very much Andrew. You've been that already? Okay. It's three o'clock now. You do a time charge again, I don't feel like that now. I've done my lunch again and I haven't had time to eat it. Busy day. Busy day, busy day every day. I don't know where the time goes. Everybody's got time to drink tea but me. I've got to make sure the men are all right and the job's been done right, you see. So I've got, I need eyes everywhere, you see, keep looking around. See that nice sky in it? You know what I mean? 
go get this gym looking for me. <laughs> Come on. Hello, my name is Dennis Houston from Smaller Heat Boxing Club. I am project managing this job with, with the Inspired Facilities grant which we recently received. At the moment, we have done suspended ceiling throughout the gym. It's going in as we speak. All the walls have been sanded down and repainted. Mirrors, everything taken off the wall, put back on. Work to be done in this room now. Is suspended ceiling finished off, new doors on the bottom. And then we'll be finished in this room. Then we'll go into the next room. A new reception area, suspended ceiling throughout. Heating, air conditioning. This room has also been painted and plastered around the columns, which has also been fully completed, plastered, new skirting boards, all the gear done back in there. This will be moved on, suspended ceiling still to go in here, and then we'll move on into. We have a new disabled toilet going in the corner here, which, will, which is virtually complete now, just so there's not much more to be done to it. Also, we have a classroom now, which is 85% complete. Within the next two to three weeks, we'll be moving in, moving rings in, and the job will come to a completion within the next week. My name is Pat Benson, I'm the founder member of the club. I started the club back in the late in the 70s. Uh, we ran as a very successful club. Uh, three of me lads, three of the lads I had myself, they went on to fight for world titles. One of them winning, Wayne Alcock actually won a world title. The other two lads got beaten, which was Paul Ramsey and uh, Matty Macklin. Matty has another chance, hopefully, but shortly. But then we went from that to where the club got burned down up in uh, Fraser Street up the road. So we went from having a very successful club to having no club at all. And it took some doing to get back from that to where we are now at this stage. Luckily, we have uh, we have some great members, of us, you know, all good people at their own jobs, and that's what helped us big time. And the, this the work going on now is like a dream come through. I've been running I've been running the club now since I passed me coach's course in 60, 67, 68, and I've been, I've been running the club since. Uh, a very successful club, but we got burned down 10 years ago and went from having a great club to having nothing. So it's like a dream come true to get this up and running now. It's taken a long time, it's taken, since we got burned down now, it's, na it's nine years, but it's just coming through now again. It was, uh, the main helpers we had in the beginning was people called Pertims. They're in a big employment age, and they helped us big time in the beginning. Also, the own family up in the Irish, and they helped big time. And of course, our own members here now. We have over 100 members in the club just now. 110, 112, something like that. And once we're up and running, I can see it even Dublin, if we, if, we can, if we can support that many members. But it's just booming now as it is. As you can see, it's, it seems to be getting better every day. It's painted, the guys are working on the ceilings now. Hopefully we'll get the rings from the back room up to the front room. Here's the classroom up and running. So, it's getting better by the day. As I said to you, we've over 100 members. He's got a fine school of kids as it is. One of our kids got to the British final this year. Another two of the kids boxed for England again Wales a couple of weeks ago. So, we're coming on from that. I have no doubt, no doubt that the national title's following up. He has something like, there's 40 men, 40 kids of care that can actually box. Of them, 25 of them is exceptionally good. The other kids are just coming into it now. So it's looking very, very good. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right, sir. Thanks for time. Hello, welcome to Small Leaf Amateur Boxing Club. I'm Bob Smith, one of the coaches here. Um, just going through a training session at the moment. Uh, we, as you can see, we're currently undergoing some uh, improvements. Yeah. Um, we've recently received funds from Sport England, and with those, we're trying to improve the facilities we have here. Um, 
We've created a couple of new rooms. Um, this room that we're in now is going to be a new ring room for us. It's going to hold two rings. And uh, just beside me, there's going to be a classroom. We're going to have workshops in there so professionals in the sport can come in, give talks to the kids, give nutrition lessons to help improve you know, the kids' eating and their fitness. Um, along with that, we're improving the roofing throughout, throughout the gym, stop all leakages, and also improving the heating system as well. Yeah, there's going to be uh, air conditioning hot and cold throughout, so we ain't freezing in the, the winter and we ain't baking in the summer. Um, also, along with that, we're trying to boost uh, females within the sport. Um, it's it's a tricky sport for women to get into, so we're, we're, we're trying to boost the population of women in the sport by promoting classes, putting classes on purely for women who look to become boxers, and, and just fitness-wise as well. It's, it's tricky for women to get involved in boxing because it's a mainly male-dominated sport. So they go into the gyms and, you know, it's, they're, they're all males there, so they, they find intimidating environment to come into. So in help to promote women into the sport, we, we, we're going to be putting on special classes, just purely women only, and hopefully once they're getting the confidence with the boxing side and even the fitness side, we, we'll start integrating the two. And, Hopefully, from there on. Well, I suppose it's just the factor of coming into an environment where it's it's male dominated, and they, they, they want to come in and feel comfortable and not feel like people are watching them. So, creating a female-only environment is is going to help that, you know, because they're in it together. You know, they they can get comfortable with their, their surroundings in the gym and work off that basically. As we watched the Olympic uh, last year, 2012, uh, we see that girl obviously becoming the British number one champion. Yeah. So what do we have to do really to get you know women to do boxing more or to do to come in more sports really? You know? Well um, so projects like this have been going on all over England. Uh, in Birmingham I know well I believe there isn't a lot of female boxers so this is a, a base point for us it's, it, it's something to start out on and build up off it um, because as far as I know there's a handful in the, in the Birmingham area so if they're all going around fighting each other then you know it, it's going to get very boring for them very quick so you think actually we're trying to get something new to get them to the uh, boxer yeah. well get them in. Yeah, I mean, you, you, we have a lot of women, you know, in England, interested in fitness, and, and boxing is a different kind of fitness. Yeah, and once they get involved, if they like it, it's it's just going to build on. And because boxing training is enjoyable, and it'll get you fit, and it's very rewarding because you'll you'll find you use muscles that you don't even know you had. So, uh, what can we do to get them into that? Well, hopefully, this is what we're trying to promote, and um, you know, we're trying to provide these classes so they can come as they please and learn if they want or just get fit. So, um, we've just got to promote it well, go through Facebook, the internet, flyers, and just let them know that the option's there. You know, if they want to do it, it's there for them, and you know, we'll continue to provide that. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alright. Connor, how are you feeling about your training right now? Right now, well, my training is going well at the moment. Everything just setting well for us all. Training hard, fighting tough, just getting on really well together. 
So you're feeling strong coming to the end of the season? Hopefully you get some balance. Okay, thanks. Louis, how, how do you feel it's going? Uh, it's cool. Did you enjoy your holiday? Yeah, yeah. yeah so you're back in training for a while now. Yeah, yeah. Brad, how are you feeling? Yeah, I think it's going right. Uh, I feel strong with some other things, to be honest. And all I've been with that, I'm not hard, I can see more things. I am not really. How's your weight management? The weight's fine. The weight's fine. That's good, it's going well, keeping the training up hard, yeah? That's good. Matt? Uh, the training's going really good at the moment, just pushing my weight through. Every obstacle that's been thrown in, and just doing what I can. Are you looking to get better every session? Yeah, I'm trying to do uh, all my tactics, build up part by part and get better at it. That's good, that's fine. Right. Isa, how are yeah, you doing? Um, especially with these more facilities around us. That's how we can do this as well. We're going to have to do this. How do you feel about the improvements? I think it's pretty good how we're investing in the next two. Right, then. Do you think you'll get any, any benefit from the classroom? <coughs> okay. Louis, how do you think the gym's improved since you was last year? Um, it's got, it's, you know, there's been a lot of more work on it and, and it will help out. There's a lot more people joined as well. Yeah. And so like Brad? How do you feel about the improvements being made? Yeah, it's good, man. It's looking better, like, you know. So we've got the lads, we're looking good in the room, we're going to come back and the gym is looking good. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's going great. Um, it works getting in the way, but you just got to get through. And uh, I think the uh, classroom is a great idea. <laughs> what, what do you think will be the main benefit from all the improvements with the roof, the heating, the classroom, the oh. new ring room. Which which would have been be, be the most beneficial to you? Classrooms would be the best. Okay, yeah. what is that? Because it would just help you make it more better as a boxer. Mm -hmm. Work on the theory side of it yeah. as well. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. You happy with that?
you know, we didn't have a team up from the top of our way. The Toronto says, I didn't come to take the care of it. That means we see the ball as well as the driver's pocket. The fact that you can go to the field, you know, the field of the field, 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 the field of
got a brand new reception area, a purpose built classroom, um, and brand new uh, female and male change rooms as well. So the impact of the, of, the, of, of the games is back down here at grassroots level. So we're just very proud to be recognised by Sport England, to be fair. A lot of work w w w went into the bid, um, a lot of preparation, uh, a lot of meetings and a lot of arguments as well, to be fair. But the feeling of reward once you get it and once you're successful in the bid, it's absolutely fantastic. It makes it all worthwhile. And you can see the difference now. You can physically see it. Um, it's absolutely fantastic, you know. And this gym now is as good as any gym in Birmingham, probably as good as anything in the country. And this should cement our our future, make it sustainable for the next 10 years hopefully, bringing some of the best talent around Birmingham, around the Midlands. Um, our boxers now have got no excuse not to be successful. They've got the best of everything, they've got funding coming through, they've got the best gym, they've got the best kit, the best equipment, best coaching. Um, so they've got no excuse now to be successful. An under 11 squad, well probably an under, under 10 squad, they're about 7 to 9 they are. And they train on a Sunday morning, um, so they come along and just an introduction to boxing really, just to keep them fit, give them some social skills, introduce them into the gym. Um, so we do two hours with them on a Sunday morning, once a week. And then we have squad nights then, Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Or squad days rather. That's for the more elite performers, the best lads. We try and keep the numbers down there to about 15 people maximum. They're the lads who go on and compete in tournaments and box nationally, internationally, and box in our home shows. Then Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, then that's our uh, key fit beginner sessions. So we put on circuits, basic um, beginner, beginner skills for newcomers. It's a mixed group of girls and boys, and the age range there ranges from about 11 years old all the way up to adult ages. Do you have any professional boxer, female at the moment? Or? No. Or? No. No, we don't have professional from a female point of view. Okay. Um, we've got a great history of professional boxers as, as males. We've got over, I think over 50 of our boxers in our history have gone pro. Okay. Our best pro being Matthew Macklin, obviously. He's um, boxing for the world title again in the summer. Um, he's a world-class athlete. And he started his career here, the same as the young lads, you know, training three, three times a week at Small Heath Gym. And so if he can go on and achieve what he's done, there's no excuse for the lads here not to do it now with these facilities. Well, what the training looks like now for the female, particularly because are they using the same equipment? <coughs> same equipment, same gym, but we do have a female coach. Um, we have a young female coach as well. She's about 17. She's been introduced to us, so we're hoping to put her on a on a, an ABA qualified coaching course and get her to do um, some classes down here during the day. We also have Claire, who's um, run our female section. Um, we have, as I said, separate um, change rooms and toilet facilities for females. What we're hoping to do, in effect, is, is, is utilise one of our rooms down the bottom, turn that to a separate gym. We need a small finance to be able to do that. So I'm um, to raise some finance now over the next three or four uh, months. We have to change that to a separate gym with its own ring, its own selection of bags. And that can be used as a completely separate area for females to train during the evening. So that's the long-term plan with that. And one of our main outcomes is to develop a competitive squad with females, maybe five or six girls, from any range who can compete uh, and be competitive in the ring, boxing tournament shows, and um, hopefully push them up towards international competition standard. I don't think. In London, in terms of skill and quality and technique, I think it was arguably better than a lot of the men. Um, some, of, some, some of the men were excellent and very skillful, but I thought a lot of them were pretty poor, to be fair. Um, and this is from countries around the world. You know, and I think the lesson we learned from the males when they boxed in the Olympics was that if they can do it, I don't see any reason why kids from Birmingham can't do it. You know, some of the some, some of the British lads were excellent. You know, Luke Campbell, Anthony Joshua, they were very good, but stand in general was was, 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 was relatively poor. And I thought the females boxed extremely well. We showed great balance, great great skill level. It was very competitive. I think. We occasionally think females, there's only one or two very good females in the whole world, but that's not the case. You know, the, the quality and, 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 and the pool of females now boxing around the world is increasing year, year on year. And I think that showed at the Olympics. So I think the, the standard really, arguably, was better than the men in terms of skill and technique. Okay, do you think there's any change or anything 
more we need to work on example to get women to escort um, well we need to increase awareness of boxing with women and females quite clearly we need more projects we potentially need more funding through from all our organizations that can help us to bring in women and females um, increase the awareness and incre increase coaching standards with girls as well because there are girls out there who want to coach as well as compete so I think we need to bring more through more coaches more females and more boxers and increase the amount of competition around the sports within Birmingham so it's not just left to the one or two same volunteers all the time and you know, we, we need more people playing their part um, we need more competition and if we get more competition and a better quality of coaching the standard will go up and up. Um, when Rio comes around, the games in Rio, I'm sure the standard will be even better. Okay, then. thank you very much, buddy. Thank what you for the time. Your insurance is already paid, so your membership is in the sort of thing. But you all lads, um, you all lads box ringing on the night as you're doing it. Young, uh, Mold Peters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't had the best look this year, actually. Next year now. You can box in the house now the Federation of Boys Clubs as well, you know. Because we're a member of that. Sure, lads, I've got this head and see what the rings is up there now. And three of them fought from water places. One, the one water place. Yes. And there's one fight next week for the water place. Macklin, yeah. Next one. Macklin, he's missed yeah. twice. Butterfly, Ramsey, he fought from water places in the minute. And Nene is hot. He won the one. So we can do the thing guys, we can do the machine lads, you know? Yeah. yeah. So you'll be a big lad, you've got to go fair, you know? No, 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 I'll have seven hands on. Heating or not? Central heating and air conditioning. Yeah, and air conditioning. I remember we came in the winter. Oh, bit of air, like, you know. It's got a crack now, you know. And it's up to you guys now. See, no matter what gym you have, it's all about your face. The kids have to prove how good the training is for their body. And it is all about it. You want to get out of box too much more then. You can't sit there for you and I know you're going to be a big kid. That's where the money is, you know? Okay, yeah. See you later, guys. Alright, son, yeah. Yeah, they're going over and over. As soon as you come back, you can stop. Uh, my name is Pat Benson. I'm a founder member of the club here. Uh, I started the club in the 70s. 1971, and it's been going since. We got burned down eight, nine years ago. We got burned to the ground. They came up and up in Fazy Street, and we moved here. And uh, we're here seven years now, and we came from having no gym to having a really decent gym now. So it's uh, it's beginning to look good now. We have a lot of good kids in the gym and they're all getting to work well and it's all come from there. We've had seven boxing shows this year which is quite a lot for a club and uh, it's all coming from there. Just coming to the end of the season now, planning for next season. Yeah. So we're in, a, we're in a lovely position now, you can see the gym, it's just been just finishing off now and uh, uh, we'll have a big weight section there and 
two rooms, two ex an extra room at the back here with two rings in it, so things are beginning to shape up top class. It's all about producing the boxes from now on. We'll have 123 members at the present time going up the whole time, and that's Chinaway members. All, all they're signed in and all the details and all the rest of it. And uh, it's going up the whole time. Now, well, you could see the two kids came there tonight, like, you know. It's gone such a stage now we'll have to we'll have to watch membership because we'll just have too many. Nice position to be in, like, you know, but uh, we never had that before, to be honest. Female boxers at the moment, and if so, how are you encouraging? Them? Well, I have indeed. We we'll have a we we'll have a female section. Uh, we we'll have seven girls, and we've even got a coach, a lady coach, and she's here tomorrow night. Begin to look quite good as well, like you know. And then, what we are, what are you looking for? For example, this game, I know. You see, this is the biggest one for, you know, in Birmingham at the moment we have for academic children training, mainly. A membership? No, what? I mean like for the youngest, younger kids. Yeah. The best, this is the best club at the moment, right, in Birmingham. Oh, well, it's not for me to say that. Like, we're, okay. I know we're a good club. Yeah. We're a big club. And we do what we do. I just couldn't tell you about other clubs. Like, they've got their... They've got the same problems I've got myself, like, you know, which is, uh, uh, we got to get the rent every week, every month. We got to pay the rates, and we do pay rates. Like, you know, the, they'll tell you it's a, it's a reduced rate, which it is. We don't pay the full amount. We don't pay the full business rate. But we do so pay rates. Our, our rates, yeah. and if we don't pay that, we're out, like, you know. So that has to be collected, and that's what I'm doing, Danny. That's what I'm doing, sitting down here, getting the members to sign in and get the money off them. I have to get £250 a week here just to stand still. And if we can do that, at least we won't owe anyone, anyone for the building. It's up to the backroom staff, then that young Paddy, me, my grandson, and the rest of them to get the whatever money they can on the computers. And, the, and they're, doing, they're doing a great job, to be honest, like, you know. Okay. As you can see, with the gym is just finished now, we got a grant off the sports council people for £50,000, which we just spent. There was over £60,000 worth of assets in the gym before that. So it's, it's quite a bit of money sitting here now at the present time. And of course that brings its own problems in the sense that you have to pay big insurance just in case something happens, like, you know. And it's just money, money. It's a business now. The lad runs it as a business. Otherwise, you wouldn't last. You wouldn't last. Long. In my time, you see, you just went to work all day. I went to work all day. I came home and trained the kids at night, and that was it. But we didn't have big costs like we have here. And even then, that time I had to pay a certain amount. And many a time I had to pay it myself when, the, when we didn't have it. But then again, I never mind the pain for the game because I love boxing. I came into boxing and it was, it helped me say, all right, son. Uh, it was a big help for myself, like in the, the early stages. And uh, I love the game. And that's it, you just pay for it. But there's big money being made out of amateur boxing now. So it's a bit, of course, you begin the grain if you have to pay now, like, you know. So how difficult has it been growing your gym since the fire? Ten years ago there was a fire. How difficult has it been to grow your gym since? Yeah, we're he heading the right way again. It took a lot of doing actually when the gym was burned down. I came from having a, one of the best gyms in the country to have and nothing. And it took a lot of doing to start back up again. And all right fellas, and again the only reason I did is that four grandsons and the last thing I wanted was the moat and the roads there, like, you know. I just had to walk and get a gym for them. And this is what you see now. All right, sir. All right, then. What's your number, boy? 110. Uh, 110. Yeah. How are you, lad? I haven't seen oh, you for a bit. How are you, sir? 
All right, Lana. Enjoy Pro? the weather. Yeah, the Pro oh, 5. Yeah, give me that bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the yeah, Pro 5. In tide boxing. Tide boxing. Yeah, tide boxing. Okay. I've been doing tide boxing like yeah? the last few months, half year. Yeah. Want to do boxing again? But how you, how'd you get on? Yeah, that was good. Knock out. Knock out. TKO. TKO. Fourth round. <laughs> That'd be bad. Yeah. Four rounds. How many rounds do you do? Uh, in Thai boxing, you do five rounds. All right. Yeah, five rounds because it's knees, kicks, everything. You know, a lot of clinching and oh, yeah. so it's a bit different. Yeah. Of course, it's different. Anyway, it's good to All see right, you. Sure. I Thank you. Like, yeah. yeah. How do you think the gym now? Yeah, all oh, looks great. Looks great. I want to have to look around. Yeah, yeah. Around just look up there and you see the rings. All right. They're looking good. I will now. All right, Thank so. You. We um, keep on getting interrupted. Eh? We keep on getting interrupted. No, it's fine. <laughs> what do we have to do to get more women to sport as well? Well, that, is, that all comes from the, the women trainer and the other girls, like, you know. If um, they attract their mates and friends and that, like, you know. And uh, to be honest, uh, usually when you get three or four girls, you lose, you lose two of them quite quick, but we seem to be keeping them this time, which is unusual, like, you know. But then that's true of all uh, the lads that come here, like, if you, you be looking to hold two out of ten, if you get ten lads coming in the gym here, long term, that's about the, that's about it, two out of ten, you know, which isn't bad. But uh, I've never seen more, i never seen more kids wanting the box as I had lately, you know. I, I probably there's a lot to do with the gym now, like the water's going around, but it's a good gym and that, but I've never known more kids wanting the gym, wanting the box. We seem to, uh, Sunday morning now we'll have, a, we'll have the young ones from, from nine year old up, and we'll have something like 27 of them, yeah, them Sunday morning, which I like because that's, that's the future, you know? I mean, like, also, um we have last year in the Olympic, one of the uh, female won uh, gold or something. In the, in the, the girl won the Olymp Olympic game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I think that's a message for you know for all everybody actually in this country to get involved in a sport. Yeah. And also, I reckon this team here, um, we have the equipment for everybody actually, male and female. Oh, yeah. So. I reckon actually they just have to come and you know do the work really. Yeah. You, you done a lot, do you? In here, I mean, you don't. You have a lot of equipment here. You have a lot of uh, you replace everything here new. Yeah. Change your room, female and male, that kind of thing, really. So now actually, you mean like down to them yeah. to you know? It's it's in their own hands now. There's no excuse for anyone to come in here. They can if they're determined enough. The way is clear right to the top. Okay, okay first, thank you very but much. But it's for us to prove that we can do it now. Right, thanks. But in the next couple of years, we've got to prove by getting the titles, you know? Absolutely. So, all right then. Thank you very much. All right, sorry. Thank you very much. Bruce and Bex Boxing Club in all of Birmingham. Morning, baby, Steve.